Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a new look and review video for you friends using the new Natasha Denona Retro Palette. I wanted to create a quick and easy five minute makeup look so you can do something easy for work or school or just going out. I think this is a great look for any of those activities and it's very easy to smoke it out if you wanna do something a little bit deeper. If you're interested in seeing how I created this cute little look on my face today and more of this palette, then you're in the right place. Let's go. Alrighty, friends, I have the beautiful Natasha Denona Retro Palette in front of me. I am so excited. I have been using this palette pretty much nonstop since I picked it up last week, and I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a quick and simple, just everyday kind of glam, kind of regular look. I, like I said, I'm obsessed with this palette. So first I'm using my Fenty Eye Primer. I use this pretty much as a staple in all of my looks. So I'm just putting a tiny little bit down. I've noticed that it gets really tacky recently and I think it's because I'm using too much. So I'm just using the tiniest bit of that. The first shade I'm gonna go into is Mod, which is this kind of matte white. It's a little bit off white. It has the slightest pink hue to it. And I am just buffing that all over my primer. I don't normally set my primer, um, but this is just how I've been doing this look. Using that same fluffy brush, I'm gonna go down into this shade, which is called Nude Mauve. And this is kind of a cool toned matte nude mauve. And I'm just taking this all over my crease. Now that I have that first transition down, I'm gonna go into a MAC 221S and I'm gonna dip into the shade Go Go, which is this kind of terracotta nude shade. And I'm going to put that in my crease a little bit below where the nude mauve shade was, just to start adding some of that dimension. Using that same MAC 221S brush, I'm going to dip into the shade Amara, which is this matte deep red. This is kind of like a deep terracotta or deep red shade. And I'm just putting that in the very outer corner of my eyelid. And then very gently brushing it in towards the inner part of my lid, but still keeping it in the crease. So after some blending, this is how it's looking. It looks a little messy, but that's okay. I think it'll look great. Next, I'm gonna take a flat shadow brush. This one happens to be from my Urban Decay Naked 3 brush. And I'm gonna go back into Mod, which is that off-white shade. Um, and I'm going to just pack that all over my lid. It looks a little scary right now, I am aware. And then I'm going to take one of our previous blending brushes and just make sure all of those edges are smooth and there is no harsh lines. So in the end, it should look something kind of like this. Next, I'm actually going to take my finger and I'm going to dip into Psychedelic, which is this beautiful shimmer shade right here. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger and then just pat that right on top of the white shade. This is gonna give it just the prettiest little glitter sheen while still keeping that shade pretty light. Again, I'm gonna take that fluffy brush, just make sure all those edges are smooth. And this is kind of what the eye look is looking like. It's just very soft, very romantic. I'm gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line now using that same flat uh, eyeshadow brush that we used for Mod. I'm gonna go back into Nude Mauve and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. I have a little bit of orange because I did an orange look yesterday. So if you see any orange glitter specks under my eye, we're just going to pretend that you don't. <laughs> That's the hard thing about using glitter in your eye looks is no matter how much you try and get it off, like there's always gonna be some left. Using a little smudger brush, I'm gonna go back into Go Go, and this is gonna go right underneath the lash line as well. And last but not least, using that same smudger, I'm gonna go back into Amara. And this I'm gonna put under my lower lash line, but just in the very outer corners. And then of course you blend everything together. And for an inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna go into Mod, that white shade, just to brighten it up a little bit. Nothing crazy, because this look is very soft. 
And then I want to smoke the tiniest bit of this dark brown shade, which is called Apart. And I'm just going to smoke that right on top of my lower lash line, almost in like a faux liner style. Last but not least, I'm going to add a little bit of my Essence Lash Princess Mascara to finish up the look. This is the final look, just a quick and simple everyday, quick and easy look using the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. What do we think? I think it's super cute. I've been wearing this look a lot actually. It's just so quick and easy. It takes like five minutes and it just looks so soft and romantic. It's so effortless. I love it. Let's go ahead and do my quick little review and thoughts on the Retro Palette. I actually really, really like this palette. I am obsessed with the color story. I think it's just so easy and effortless and beautiful for fall and winter. I really like that it's the midi size. For reference, here is my Trio Chrome palette. If you haven't, I'm sure everyone has seen the size difference in these. Um, but the Trio Chrome is her typical big size palettes. And then the midi size is just a little bit smaller. So you're still getting the same number of shades, just a smaller amount. The shades themselves are so easy to work with. It's ridiculous. It's so easy. Anybody could use these shadows. And that's just not me hyping this up because I've tried a lot of eyeshadow in my life. But I love this formula. I would say my standout shades are Go Go and Psychedelic. Those I think are my two favorites that I keep dipping into. I've tried most of the shades at this point in this palette and those are always the ones that I want to reach for. Mod is a really, really nice white shade and I love using whites in my looks, whether that's as a soft inner corner or kind of all over the lid as a base for a shimmer like we use today. I think it's just phenomenal. I know that all the promo pictures looked absolutely ridiculously different from each other um, and in the promo pictures it looked very very berry toned very warm toned I am here to debunk that theory I have my little Natasha Denona love palette on top and then on the bottom this is the retro and as you can see the love palette is definitely more berry toned and pink toned than the retro the retro is actually very muted and very toned down I would say the most similar to her existing palettes would be the glam palette I don't own that one though so I can't compare it for you but I do think that that would be the closest. I've had this palette for about a week now and I've used just about every single shade in this palette. I love the quality. I think quality it's just amazing. Natasha Denona does amazing job at shadows and not only are they really good at blending with each other and other Natasha Denona shadows but I've also used this in conjunction with some of my pan those eyeshadows and I will include a picture, but I did a look the other day where I used a bright blue lid color and then I mixed some of these neutrals for kind of like a crease and the rest of the look. And I loved it. I got so many compliments on that look. It looked so good. I think this quality is just phenomenal. And if you're looking to get into Natasha Denona shadows, I highly recommend this palette. You can do everyday looks like we did today, or you can vamp it and smoke it out for more of a sultry nighttime look. And I think there's just so many options with this palette. I would give this a solid nine out of 10 stars. One star off because I have not used every single shade, but I've used most of them. And I don't wanna give it a 10 stars until I've tried every single shade. But just based off of the ones I have tried, I am obsessed and I hope everyone else that's gotten this palette is just as in love as I am. That is all for today's video, friends. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed so you never miss out on any of my new videos. And let me know if you want to see any more looks using the retro palette. I think it'd be fun to try and do more of like a vampy, sultry look. I think that would be fun. I hope you all have a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you all in the next one.